Hello, this is Mary the Avon Sales Lady. And I know a lot of you who watch my videos, you like vintage things, you like vintage Avon things. I do too. And I just thought that I would share this vintage JCPenney catalog, which I recently acquired. I bought it from someone on eBay and it was a pretty good price. You know, I was looking for uh, an old um, Sears Christmas catalog, but they're all so expensive. Isn't that hard to believe? I mean, who would have thought? You know, I can hear some older women saying, oh, I should have kept all of my old J.C. Penney and Sears and Montgomery Ward catalogs from a long time ago. Who would have thought they would have been worth something one day? But, you know, uh, not many people saved them, I'm sure, but some people did. And who would have thought that they would go for, you know, a lot of money on eBay, especially the Christmas catalogs, like, I don't know, 50 bucks, 30, 40 bucks. Who would have thought that they would have been worth anything? So I know that some of you are familiar with these catalogs. You probably grew up with these catalogs, but some of you are too young to remember. So let me just say that um, up until, you know, maybe the, I don't know when they, when they stop, you know, really making these, uh, but I would say you know, up until the mid 1990s or so, uh, a lot of people, you know, did their ordering from catalogs. They would either call, uh, you know, the, the place and, and place an order on the phone, or they would mail in a check, believe it or not, they would use an order form, or maybe even write down their credit card information on a on an order form and send that in back in the day. But of course, most people order their things online. And of course, some, you know, uh, businesses do still send out catalogs like L.L. Bean and I think Land's Inn. Um, but a long time ago, uh, all the big, you know, um, department stores like J.C. Penney's and Sears and Montgomery Ward's, you know, they would send out these big, huge catalogs. And Christmas was very special because that was, um, that was the most special catalog out of the year, I guess, for a lot of people. So I guess that's why they go for more money nowadays because they're they're very special. And, you know, my mom, I mean, she liked department stores, but Sears and JCPenney's and Montgomery Wars were not really her favorites. So she was kind of more like into, um, you know, I grew up in the South, so Belk was a big department store and Riches a long time ago, and, and they didn't send out catalogs. So we never really had these in our house too much. But whenever I was a guest at, you know, visiting other people, I would get to look at their catalogs while I was there. And believe me when I say that these were very entertaining to look at. I mean, just look how thick this is. It's as thick as a phone book. You guys remember the old phone books from back in the day. So I'm going to go through this really quick, or well, I'm going to try to go through it as quickly as I can. I'm going to skip over some parts. I'm going to mo mostly focus on the women's clothing the junior's clothing, because I know that it's mostly women who likes this, likes this kind of thing, and children's clothing as well. And I'm gonna skim over some of the other parts just to get through this quickly. So here we go. Okay, immediately when I open up the catalog, I, I immediately see these beautiful dresses that look so mid-1970s to me. Um, here we have a beautiful camisole and skirt like a prairie skirt. It looks like there's sort of an underskirt underneath. And it says here, um, JC Penny says the best looks of the season are natural country frocks and muslin tones. Now I'm not going to bother to read all of this to you. Of course not, and especially not the fine print. And over here we have these two beautiful dresses that look like something out of the movie, The Stepford Wives. I don't know if some of you have ever heard of that movie. It was like a I guess a popular movie in the in the 1970s, the mid 70s, and the movie is based on a book. I forget the author's name, but the, that book was written by the same guy who wrote Rosemary's Baby, and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the movie Rosemary's Baby. So, you know, he wrote two interesting books. You know, very um, very original, unique themes to his books. So. Uh, they made a remake of the Stepford Wives in the early 2000s, but that one wasn't that good. So, uh, you know, I like the original Stepford Wives. I mean, the story's okay, but I, I like it for the um, for the optics, for the visuals. 
Okay, let me just turn the page and I'll stop talking about <laughs> things that are unrelated to, to what I'm doing here. I just wanted to give you a little bit of background on this look. Okay, so when I turn the page, let me see if I missed a page. No. Um, you know, I'm going to skip over some things and I'm going to talk about some things that I find to be more interesting. You know, of course, bell bottoms were really popular in the early to mid-1970s. And this young lady looks like she's got a Princess Leia hairdo. I don't know if that was intentional because of the movie coming out around the same time or, it, you know, it was just a coincidence. But um, 1976 was a really good year, I'm sure. And it was also uh, just a very memorable year because that was the year of our bicentennial. And you can bet that... Um, a lot of people were feeling very patriotic during that year and um, everybody was all geared up to celebrate the bicentennial of our country. And I think Saturday Night Fever came out in 1976. I think, um, I'm not sure, I, I think. And I think uh, the movie, what I just say, Star Wars, I believe, or maybe Star Wars came out in 1977. I don't know, but the 1970s was just a good decade overall. Okay, moving right along, we have this, um, I guess this is what you would call a polyester leisure suit from the mid-1970s um, in yellow. Don't you just love those 1970s hairdos? Okay, short hair was, I mean, women still, still wore their hair long, of course, in the 1970s, but short hair was just really popular. And, um, you know, sandals, these platform sandals are paired with the, the suit. And I really just love this skirt. I think that's just so pretty. I, I would even wear this today in the t-shirt. I think that's very pretty. All right, let's move on. Um, you know, I like a lot of the 1970s fashions, but I don't, it, it, there's a, you know, a few things that I don't like about the 70s, but overall, I do like the 1970s, the, the fashions from that era. So here we have a denim suit, and of course, uh, this pointy collar. I don't know if that's a, what you would call a butterfly collar, but I mean, definitely, that's a 1970s look for sure, and hairstyle. And here we have the bell-bottom jeans, the vest. That I know that look was popular then. And this type of A-line skirt. Um, espadrilles. Is that how you say that? You know, that this type of natural looking shoe. Okay, let's just get past this, this section. Um, and move right along. Sorry. More bell bottom pants and more shirts with that uh, kind of collar, as you can see. More short hair, of course. Okay. And this is cute. I don't know if I would wear this today, but you know, I think it's cute. If I lived back then, I, I mean, if I was old enough back then, I certainly would. Um, I like the skirt. I didn't really just like it all. Oh my goodness, I am in 1970s heaven right about now. Look at that gingham suit. <laughs> that looks like something somebody's grandmother or, I don't know, older aunt would wear. <laughs> I mean, I like the color. I think it's cute for, for that time, but I, you know, I wouldn't wear that today. But, you know, I do love the color. And actually, I do like uh, wide-legged pants or flared legs. Uh, pants with a flared leg. I do, actually. Okay, I turned to this page because uh, it says here, great new class classics. And I think these are all, yeah, polyester suits like this one. Um, but the only thing is, is this is not really classic. So they were calling it classic a classic work back then, but um, this is obviously very dated for this, you know, for the time that we live in now. But, you know, I still... You know, I like the 1970s. Um, this kind of looks like something that somebody's mom or grandma or 
aunt would wear probably, or, or maybe this is stuff that women wore to the office if they needed to wear, you know, uh, to have a certain kind of look, you know, stuff that they would wear to work, I guess you could say, like business casual from that era. Look at the shoes. Okay. And um, this is kind of like, a, I don't know, casual wear. You have the coordinating shirts and pants. Kerchiefs were really big, or, or scarves around the neck and the head. Okay, and this is like a nautical look. Once again, this looks like something somebody's mom would wear, housewife, grandma, aunt. And this looks like this is work wear, stuff that you would wear to work. And not the shorts, of course, but I mean the suits. I mean, I think it's beautiful. I, I just know that it's a lot of these things are dated, you know, by our standards today. You know, most women wouldn't wear this stuff today. But, you know, I think the styles are cute. Most of them, not all of them. Okay, there's shorts and um, got some bright colors here. Okay, let's move on. This catalog has everything. They had everything back in the day. I mean, JCPenney's is uh, not what it used to be. Okay. You know, um, all of these models in the um, catalogs, catalogs like this, I mean, uh, I'm sure a lot of them probably worked as models on a regular basis back then, you know, up until recently, I mean, they weren't like famous, you know, supermodels, or, you know, just, just models who work regularly, who were fortunate enough to get work like this on a regular basis, catalog work. You know, I love this look here. This is uh, very pretty. What do they call these skorts? Something like that. They were like a combination of like uh, shorts and a skirt over the shorts. I mean, that style has like come and gone. I think that um, skorts were not only around in the in the 70s, but probably also in the 1960s and in the 1990s they would make a comeback. But they never really went out of style. I don't know when they came in style though. Okay, yeah. Once again. That kind of looks like something that somebody's grandma or mom would wear. Okay, no, I do not like that. The brown patchwork, that's gotta go. Okay, and I just have to turn to this, um, great values. You know, I'm using, a, it's actually kind of a drab day today. It's raining here, so I'm using natural sunlight. I apologize if it seems a little bit too dark. Great values, nah, I think I'll pass on that patchwork. Okay, the shorts and the t-shirts here are cute. And these are actually very pretty. These two outfits. They don't look that drastically different than uh, some of the styles that we have today, except for maybe the, the pants. You know, uh, flared pants have, or, or pants with a wide leg, have like, that style has come and gone. I mean, you know, we've, we've seen it repeated, so. You know, some of these styles don't look that drastically different than what we have today. All right, let me move on quickly. Because I don't want to take too long. More great value. And then we have these adorable cover-ups for bathing suits. And uh, bathing suits, bikinis. And we have some for mom and grandma and your aunt <laughs> for the skirt. And uh, we have some, some sexy one-piece bathing suits. 
for the cover up. And these are really pretty. I don't see anything wrong with these. And then we have some cutesy juniors styles. This one has like a little sheep on the um, rear end. Bikinis. One pieces. There's one with a with a patriotic print. Okay. And uh, is this the junior section? I'm not sure. Okay, it looks these style. Yeah, it is. These styles look a little bit more youthful. Juniors, look at those wide legs. You know, the 1970s just had a plethora of different looks. I mean, just the um, the early 1970s is so drastically different from the uh, late 1970s. I mean, as far as, the, you know, the styles go. Okay, more junior stuff. Okay, these are like, that's like a nautical theme. As I mentioned, you know, the Bicentennial was uh, in 1976, so it's not surprising to see some, you know, patriotic looking styles during this time. Okay, more bell bottoms. And I like that shirt. Okay. Okay, so you know what? Rainbows were just as popular back in the 1970s as they are now. Surprise, surprise. And I think that jumper is just adorable. I can, I, you know, I don't really see that standing out today. If some young lady was to wear that, I don't think somebody would say, hey, that looks like something your grandmother wore back in the 70s. Okay, uh, peasant tops were still popular. This kind of, um, I guess you'd say that's like a kind of Western look. It's hard to believe that some of this stuff is for juniors because it kind of looks a little bit um, motherly to me. I mean, not these two styles here. There's overalls that were also popular. I just don't like that patchwork look. You know, overalls is, um, uh, you know, a style that has come and gone. It's been popular forever. It's been around forever. But this looks a little bit matronly to me over here on this side, especially this striped blouse, except for the belt maybe. Okay, oh, I love these two looks here, this, these two skirts and the t-shirts paired with those. No, I think that is just very pretty. And uh, I mean, that one's okay, but I like these two the best. I could see young ladies wearing this in this day and age and, and not really standing out too much. You know, because retro fashion is still popular. Some things are anyway. Now these would definitely stand out. <laughs> okay. I'm not too crazy about those. There's one with a uh, tiger. You know, another thing that was popular in 1970 was 70s was karate, I guess, because of all the um, Bruce Lee movies. So uh, to see people wearing uh, clothing that looked, I don't know, like it was Asian inspired or even things that looked kind of like, I don't know, karate outfits was not, was not unheard of. You would sometimes see that. move right along and some ponchos which were uh, very or I don't know if you call it a poncho or a shawl maybe shawls is a better uh, a better term this catalog is only damaged in a few places but otherwise it's in great condition um, you know I had a knit shawl when I was a little girl it had uh, pom-poms on it more Stepford Wives looking. This is looking like the Stepford Wives again. Except these are a little bit more youthful. Uh, yeah, maxi dresses were very popular in the mid-1970s and then really throughout the 70s. Oh my goodness, the patchwork on this. Check that out. What is that? 
Is that like a kid? Yeah, that's kind of odd. Looks like a little boy and a girl. I don't think I would be crazy about that. And what does this one have? Okay, just like a little bit of patchwork there. Okay, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that looks so 1970s, <laughs> doesn't it? And so does this outfit here on the left. I mean, I think these are pretty. These kind of look more like for mature women to me and not for uh, teenagers. Okay, hopefully I am keeping track of uh, all of my videos. Okay, there's a hat and a scarf. It looks like these are raincoats or all weather coats. Um, beautiful denim coats over here, I like that. I would even wear this today. That one's very pretty. Also the one with the um, red closures in the front. Okay, more coats. Trench coats. Uh, it says fabric with a um, with a look of leather. So I guess those are supposed to look like leather, but not real leather. Uh, you know, I like. I think the quality of the, of these clo um, these clothes here in this catalog are better than what J.C. Penney has today, in my opinion. Leather luxury. So maybe that really is leather. That's beautiful. I mean, that, you could wear that style today. And uh, a long dress, what is that design? I can't really tell. Once again, it's, I don't know if this is really junior stuff for juniors or not. It kind of looks a little bit mature, especially the one on the left and the right. Oh my gosh. You know, that's, I mean, that's pretty, but it kind of almost looks like curtainy a little bit. All right, and uh, more denim suits. Oh my goodness, what is that? Hmm. All right. Let me just try to get through this fast. I don't want to bore you guys too much. I love the long dress there with the uh, smocked bodice. That that page is damaged. Okay. And here we go. More, more maxi dresses. These are very youthful looking. I guess these are for like special occasions. It almost looks like something you wear to a wedding or maybe even a prom back, in the, back then, back in the 70s. Quilt? No, I guess that's just the design. Oh my gosh. That looks like something Cher would wear. I think. I think so. I don't know that for sure. Oh my god, can you say Stafford Wives? Oh my gosh, they have the white hats and everything. Mm hmm. Look at that. It's got the little um, daisy trim on that. I love that. Actually, I don't, I wouldn't wear it. If I was a young woman back then, I certainly would. I would, you know, make a dress for my daughter using that kind of trim. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. And they had, of course, short dresses back then too that were very popular. Of course. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Okie dokie. Wow, look at this. J.C. Penney used to sell bridal dresses and uh, bridesmaids dresses. Look how, look how nice. I mean, I think these are beautiful. I, I know that people wouldn't use them today, but I just think they're very pretty and very charming. It looks very sunny and yellow. <laughs> To me, I mean, I like it. I'm not. I'm not laughing to be mean. I actually like it. And these looks like these could be. I don't know. Uh, mother of the bride dresses or grandmother. 
you know, anyone really, not just older women. Um, hmm. All right, moving right along. Here's another look that I, I mean, that looks very 1970s here, this green dress. This big thing in the middle here, whatever that is. Oh my goodness. Hmm. All right, let me skip some of these pages and we're gonna go to the maternity section. Let me just use that kind of as a bookmark. Um, and back then, J.C. Penney's had maternity clothes. Look at that, cute. And maternity bathing suits. Those are cute. I really like this one, the one that looks like patchwork. More maternity stuff. I mean, they just had so much. It's just really sad what's happened to some of these stores. I mean, I know, I think JCPenney's is just managing to stay afloat, but Sears went out of business, as far as I know. Montgomery Ward went out of business. The world has definitely changed <clears throat> in some ways for the better, in some ways not for the better. Okay, these are the kind of uniforms that nurses wore back then, and I guess dental hygienists, and I think these pre look pretty, pretty sharp, pretty um, spiffy. I know today people wear, what do they call them, um, shrubs? Oops, I just tore my catalog page, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry I did that. Okay, uh, yeah, like this, this kind of looks like something a dental hygienist would wear almost nurses look those are the kind of shoes that nurses wore back then now they wear what crocs or whatever i don't know i don't really pay attention to their shoes but this just looks very dated to me i mean there's nothing wrong with that i think it looks fine but i'm just gonna say it once again i guess jc penny had everything i didn't realize that they had so much back then isn't that cute? I like that red shirt, actually. Um, yep. I'm going to leave guys out. These are, what are these, lab coats or something? Um, professional and career jackets. Yeah, lab coats. Okay, and of course, JCPenney had uh, jewelry back then and watches. I mean, they still do today, but nothing like they had back then. Look at that. Look at those pocket watches and uh, Swiss pocket watches and accessories. Digital watches. Uh, what are these little things that you, yeah, pendant watches you would wear around your neck. I'll try to get through these quickly. I have one place bookmarked here. Um, gosh, the pages are stuck together now. Okay, uh, jewelry box. Let's just move on and skip past that. Here are is the um, here are the nightgowns and pajamas. Man, I was saving this one because this is just so cute. Very, very 1970s looking. Look at that gown and the robe and the little short. Nightgown, nighty. What is that design? Okay, I guess that's a tennis racket. Look at the hairstyle. And that's like a caftan. What does it say? Loungewear for life, styles of 1976. Those are really pretty. It's supposed to look a little bit, um, uh, just says romantic look. It does look that way. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. And okay, we're moving on to um, lingerie. Now I'm not really going to go through the lingerie section. I know back then that slips were something that were, they were considered to be a very important part of a woman's wardrobe. 
they had all kinds of styles and lengths you know i mean by styles i mean you could have a full slip or you can have a half slip and uh, a camisole different lengths and if you were wearing pants that you were concerned about being see-through i guess you could wear something like this underneath if you were if you were that modest which i'm sure a lot of people are and were and still are today um and they even had a where is it at shapewear okay let's just get past all this stuff panties stockings um leotards and tights for working out bras i'm sorry where's the shapewear at you know stuff like corsets um stuff that's very similar to what we have today like spanks Looks like they had kind of racer bra bras, I guess. <clears throat> this the page. Lingerie. Aha. Uh -huh. You know, just stuff like this. Girdles. Panty corselets. It's supposed to, you know, slim me down and. So you wouldn't have any ripples and budges, uh, bulges, I'm sorry, budges, bulges underneath your clothing. Okay, and let's move right along. Okay, I apologize for that background noise, if you guys can hear that. Okay, so as I've already said, JCPenney had it all back then, it seems. Um, they had workout equipment. I, mean, I don't know how good this stuff was, but for back then it was, um, you know, knew that was what was being offered uh weights dumbbells um there is a sauna suit which i've seen people use something similar in, in recent years i mean not that long ago they had a writing desk and jc penny even had uh, you know there's stuff for the home these are uh, sewing sewing tables they had sewing machines of course and back then they even had fabric for sale Oh my gosh, you know, I'm into sewing and I was into it big time a few years ago. I taught myself to sew uh, many years ago. And um, so, I mean, I'm pretty good at it. I'm not going to say I'm an expert, but so I, I really love sewing, even though I don't get much of a chance to do it these days. I hope to be able to do it some, some more of it in the future soon. But um, so I, I can appreciate this. You know, people used to sew a long time ago out of necessity but nowadays it's just more of a hobby and it's not really a cheap hobby either um the fabric and everything that you need to buy can be very expensive but a long time ago people sewed out of necessity and people thought that um you know clothes that were you know handmade i'm not, I'm not trying to offend anybody but um that they weren't superior to the clothes that were being sold in department stores. Of course, nowadays, people probably think just the opposite, that, you know, uh, handmade stuff is superior to to the mass-produced things that you can buy in stores. But anyway, I digress. So I just think this is really, really cool and neat. I guess, you know, here's some examples of things that you could make, you know, patterns for sale. Okay. All right, moving right along. What is this? Looks like this is just more um, more prints that you can buy for quilting and making clothing. Okay, let's move on to the shoes. Some of these styles would not look that out of place today, and some of them would, obviously. Um, you know, styles repeat themselves, and I can remember platform shoes making a comeback, you know, like in, I think, the late 90s. I don't know, early 2000s. Forgive me. You know, like I said, styles repeat themselves, so... If I don't get the ears exactly right, you know, it's no big deal. You know what I'm trying to say. Platform shoes are really big in the 70s. Um, this looks very similar to what we have today. This, this white shoe and the navy blue and the red shoe. I can remember those shoes from when I was a kid. And um, that doesn't look that different than what we have today. Maybe a little bit different, but not drastically different. Oh my God, <laughs> look at that red shirt. No, <laughs> no. 
no, 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 I don't like that one either. And these are junior shoes. I mean, they're cute. I wouldn't wear them now. If I was a, a teenage girl back then, I probably would have wore them. I have no doubt. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at the blue one. Look at the clogs. Believe it or not, clogs made a comeback in the 90s. Platform shoes. High heeled sandals. Avocado green and yellow. Those were popular colors back in the day. And no, I do not like that. No, no, no. Uh -uh. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Dyed to match shoes. Yeah. Okay, moving right along. Got some men's shoes here. I know we've kind of bypassed, uh, well, we haven't really gotten to the men's stuff yet. These look like these are for boys. Those are cute. I mean, they're, they're you know, obviously some of them are very dated, you know, by today's standards. Little girl's shoes. Different styles. They had more styles than I realized. The kids. When I was a little girl, I, I had, um, I mean, I wore sandals and sneakers, but for dress, I had um, Mary Jane shoes that were either black for the cooler months, autumn and fall, or white for the summer and spring season. <clears throat> that was pretty much standard. Stuff for little babies. Okay, and... Um, High chairs. Jesse Penny had it all back then. Look at the changing station. There's like a portable crib. That's very similar to what my daughter had when she was a baby. It's a cradle. Baby swing. There's another changing station. Strollers and uh, baby carriages. There's stuff for them. Um, Bottle warmers, carrying the baby bottles around, bibs. Okay. Uh, this is, um, you know, slips for little girls, which I had to always wear a slip when I was a girl, when I wore a dress. They're showing different lengths here. And I remember when I was a little girl, I were not little, but a preteen. I mean, it's young, but not, not a teenager. You're not exactly a, a little girl. You're in between. So I can remember... You know, looking at these catalogs sometimes with my friends, and we were always like uh, looking at the bras and daydreaming about the day when we would get our first bra. So that was kind of a milestone in a young girl's life. Kids' pajamas. Okay, I'm sorry if my stomach's growling. It's time to eat lunch. Oh my gosh, I love that yellow. Um, what do you call that? It's like a overalls with bell bottoms and big bird top and bell bottoms. Oh my gosh, that looks so 1970s. I'm in 1970s heaven right now. I'm telling you. Look at those nightgowns. Wow. Okay, okay, moving right along. Let's see if I can find anything else cute before I get to the boy section. Oh, that's just so cute. A rainbow top, overalls, and some uh, beautiful jeans with the embroidery on the pockets. It's really pretty. Oh, suits for young girls. It's pretty. I mean, I, you know, obviously we're, Children today wouldn't probably wouldn't want to wear that. Looks would probably look very dated to them. And these are for just little girls, little toddlers. That's just so cute. So precious. I really like this one with the matching coat and that beautiful hat. I think that is just a beautiful retro look. Look at that raincoat. Look at the shoulders on that. Oh, 
that stuff from ballet and tap. I used to take ballet and tap when I was little, but I can't do either one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Love it. Look at that patchwork bag. Patchwork blouse. Beautiful. Okay, before I move on to the boys section, I just I had to stop here because I just could not resist the, this. Look at those patchwork pants. Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like that. That white outfit is cute. Those are high-waisted pants. Of course, I'm sure you guys noticed already. Uh, there's a little denim suit for little girls with the, with the blazer. The hat, the vest, the bell-bottom pants, the whole ensemble. And uh, I'm not wild about that, but there you go. There's a jacket with a um, lion, lion's picture on the back. Oh my gosh, aren't these cute? Long granny dresses or maxi dresses for little girls. Oh, that's beautiful. It's just very sweet looking. All right, uh, as much as I would like to stay, let's move on to the boys section. Okay, let's... Um, Spread the love around here. Okay, so we have um, these clothing styles for little boys or young boys. And there is a sharp looking suit there with a red jacket. Casual everyday styles. Plaid pants, oh my gosh. Plaid pants back then. Denim, the denim look, of course, scarves tied around the necks there. I mean, that's cute. That's cute. The denim suit. Oh my God, look at those plaid pants. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bell bottoms. Oh, this makes me think of the Partridge family and the Brady Bunch. Yep. Some spiffy looking pants with a white jacket. Mm -hmm. And some more boy stuff. Okay. It looks very 1970s. Okay, moving right along, let's see what else we can find. We are here at uh, some men's fashions. You know, I do like gingham. I like this look, even though it's you know, dated with the bell-bottom pants, but I just think it's a nice classic look. I mean, obviously they, you know, they tweaked it a bit for that time, you know, with the, um, with that kind of collar and the bell-bottom pants. I still think it looks good. Okay. And here we have like his and her fashions for that time, you know. There's some men's styles. Oh, there's the patchwork. Hey, you know those patchwork pants I just showed you a minute ago. There's a mom and dad could wear, could wear the shirts and the daughter could wear the pants. There you go. Match. They even have almost, uh, well, in some cases, matching hairdos, almost. <clears throat> okay, more matching looks. Okay, you get the idea. All right, let's see what else we can find here. We have some wonderful, a wonderful green suit. Some more suits for guys. I'm not gonna stay too long in the men's section. Here we have the men's pants. This looks very Saturday Saturday night fever to me. Men's shirts. Men's, I guess you'd call that a leisure suit. Oops. 
Okay, and uh, you get the idea. More belt bottom pants. Okay, so I've kind of reached the end, uh, even though there's a lot more pages to cover, but I think that I've gone over a lot of things. Uh, JCPenney just had it all, as I've already mentioned. Uh, I didn't even know that they had this much stuff. They had um, musical instruments. There's drums, and looks like these are, what are these, like horns, like trombones, trumpets, cornets, cornet, um, saxophone, flute, I'm sorry. I don't even know what all of these are. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not gonna read the fine print. Um, radios, I know that they had TVs, they had electronics, just all kinds of stuff. And I guess this is, um, what is this, like a glossary? It's just telling you where to find things. Me too, they had tires. Uh, swimming pool for the kids, I remember those. I mean, those are, you know, you could still have these kind of similar outdoor pools today but look how much they were damn sorry whoops i didn't mean to say that this is the 1970s look how much they were they're not cheap and you could pay for it on a pay payment plan if you wanted to what is that a vacuum cleaner i don't know oh it's for a pole i'm sorry i don't know what i'm looking at uh what are these um outboard motors for boats I'm just skipping through these now. Helmets, motorcycle helmets. They had paint for the house. Home improvement stuff. And as I, you know, tools. I guess radios for the cars. What are these? Um, CB radios or something? Transistor radios. I don't know what these are. Walkie talkies. And then they had stuff for the home. Pots and pans, cookie jars, pretty, cute. And what is this? Um, cabinets. What happened to JCPenney? Fireplaces, beds? Hmm shows you I haven't even gone through this whole catalog. I mean, I went through some of it. Chairs, they had furniture. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Stuff for the home. I'm just kind of moving the camera around fast. I'm sorry if you can't, if you're not getting a clear view, lamps. This is supposed to look like antique lamps. Um, just move on, they had mattresses. Stuff for the bedroom, bedroom furniture. I know they had baby furniture. Looks like curtains. Oh, those curtain rods. Everything. Okay, and then uh, back then you would um, either call, I guess, and give a credit card number. I don't even know if you do that back in the, back then. I know you would, there's definitely an order form in this catalog. You would fill it out and you could probably pay with a check. I mean, that's really the only way to pay back then or, or write your credit card number down and um, send your order in. It would probably take a little time to process. You know, it wasn't quick like it is today. And sometimes you might be disappointed if they sold out of whatever it was that you wanted to buy. So it was it was a little bit more of a hassle back then if they were, um, if they had sold out of something or, or sent you the wrong thing, you'd have to return it. It's, it's not as easy as it is today to do, um, you know, shipments and returns that kind of thing. Today it's definitely easier, but you know, there, there's something about this era that I think people miss too. You know, there's like pluses and minuses with with everything. So. Um, there's something good about this that's gone forever, unfortunately. You know, we do have, things are more convenient today. Today we have, um, we can get things delivered. What, does Amazon del do like same day delivery still or next day delivery? I mean, you can get it so fast. 
you didn't have to wait you don't have to wait like you did like you did a long time ago and that's that's good but I don't know I think some people just kind of miss these times uh, it was a lot of fun back then and I think you had so much creativity and um, you had a lot of the same things that you have today but obviously technology has improved a lot but I think people just miss the simplicity of these times okay guys I hope you've enjoyed this little walk down memory lane with me and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so because I do plan to upload more content like this in the future and if you like my videos please do give them a thumbs up